Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create a, a data source uh, extension. Uh, I will create a, a sample for a data source active method. Let's look at our example. Okay, here is the code. Uh, this is for uh, ITM cost transform, uh, which is a landed cost modules uh, cost uh, transaction form. Uh, I want to uh, access the data source and uh, there is a field which we created for uh, invoices. Uh, so if it is uh, invoiced like we uh, used, then I want to, to uh, close the data source for editing and deleting or otherwise I want to open data source for editing and deleting. Of course, there is a uh, standard functionality for this form. I am doing this uh, for uh, uh, training purpose. So, uh, first of all, we need to create a class. Uh, class should extend. Extend. Uh, class. Uh, class should have final uh, prefix, and then uh, we are creating the class like this. Uh, it's important to give a proper name for. For extension naming, you should have a standard. For us, this is a, a name for uh, name of the form and form uh, suffix. Then our uh, initial, then the data source name, then extension. Of course, you should uh, uh, say this is my form and this is my data source for extension form data source uh, extension. Now it's a uh, uh, I want to write code in active method, so I uh, I have a create new method here. Also, I have a return value because active method return value is integer. Also, I need a form data source here, and I can take this from like this, you know, because this uh, in this class means form data source. Then I am calling this standard uh, code. Then uh, with this code, I am uh, taking the uh, ITM cost trans uh, table buffer values. Then I am checking the uh, value of this field. And with uh, with this code, I am uh, setting allow edit and allow delete properties. And I am returning the red value. And this is simple code. Uh, you should be care careful, of course, the standard application. Uh, because for uh, ITM cost transform has its own active method. Let's look at this uh, active method. Here is the ITM cost transform active method, and here is the, uh, for example, allow edit uh, code. Uh, if you have, if you want to add new functionality here, you can add, for example, this method. But uh, let's look at this method. This is here. It's internal, so you can't do uh, any extension from this point. And if you want to use, you can uh, copy this code and use it in your uh, extension code to create uh, suitable uh, suitable codes for your requirements. <laughs> for us, it's enough for uh, for this one. And let's quick look, look at the form. This is uh, the ITM, uh, ITM uh, voyage table. Uh, and in this voyage, let's look at voyage costs. Now these are the costs. And when I edit, you can see it's not editable. And let's have another voyage and cost. Now let's edit. Now it's editable because this, this field is false and the uh, the other uh, others this one's uh, field was true so uh, i can't edit this record okay now uh, for uh, creating a standard form data source uh, active method extension you should use uh, this kind of code sample i hope it's helping thank you